All right, so here's an exercise about distributions. So show that a distribution function has at most countably many discontinuities. So let x be a random variable with distribution function f. Let di be the set of discontinuities of f. So this collection of di's, this is a subset of the real line and it contains every point at which f has a discontinuity. And let mi be f of di minus f of di minus. And remember, f of di minus is the limit as x approaches di from the left of f of di. And we know that um, distribution functions are right continuous, meaning that the limit as x approaches um, the limit as y approaches x from the right of f of y will equal f of x, but that's not necessarily true from the left. And in fact, in cases like this, it's not true because what f of di minus f of di minus tells us is this tells us how much of a jump there is between, um, how much of a jump there is in the um, distribution function at the point di. So di is a discontinuity of f, and mi tells us how big of a leap that discontinuity is. Okay, so since di is a discontinuity point of f, we know that each mi is going to be strictly positive and it's strictly positive because um, distribution functions are increasing. And we also know that it's going to be finite because, well, it's actually much more than finite, but we'll talk about that. It, it, it must be finite because, um, well, actually it must be strictly less than one. Well, I guess it could be one potentially, but the point is that, um, the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x has to be 1, and so this jump cannot be larger than 1, because if it were larger than 1, then we wouldn't have a distribution function anymore. Okay. So let's state that. So we know the limit as x approaches minus infinity of f of x equals zero and limit as x approaches infinity of f of x equals one. And so the sum of all the mi's must be less than or equal to one. And this is because the sum of the mi's is a lower bound The fact that f is increasing means that the sum of the mi's is a lower bound on um, the difference between the limit as x goes to minus infinity of f of x and the limit as x goes to infinity of f of x. And since the difference between those two is one because it's one minus zero. The sum of the mi's must be less than or equal to one. Okay, now here, this, this part's sort of interesting. By standard real analysis, an uncountable sum of strictly positive 
numbers is positive infinity. It always diverges. And this is one of those things, it, it's one of those funny statements in math where, um, at least when you're taking certain math courses, you might, at least this was the experience for me, I had one class where it was sort of like this fact wasn't really related to anything and it was a little tricky so we didn't go over it. And then the next course that I took, they basically were just like, oh, well, now that you're at this level, you've probably seen this fact before. So it's it's one of those things that it doesn't really fit into any particular course super well, but at some point you're just expected to have learned it at some point, even though it's not naturally learned at some point. And that was just my experience. It might be different for other people. But, yeah, this is just a standard real analysis fact, and you can look up a proof of it. Um, but you can have... So you can obviously have a countable sum of positive numbers and get a finite number. But anytime you have a uncountable sum of strictly positive numbers, it doesn't matter how quickly those positive numbers decay to zero, the sum will always be zero. So thus, the fact that the sum is less than or equal to 1 um, this cannot be an uncountable sum. So, the collection of the MIs is at most Countable and the same holds for the collection of DIs because the D because there's a one to one correspondence between the DIs and the MIs. And so to say that the collection of DIs is at most countable means that the distribution function has at most countably many discontinuities. And that's exactly what we wanted to prove, and so now we're done.